What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a Shein makeup haul with swatches because I bought a lot of Shein makeup. Um, I really love, I've tried a little bit of their makeup and I loved it so I wanted to try more. And I got some beauty stuff, make, but it was all almost all makeup so I wanted to show you guys what I got. So if you want to see what I got, stay tuned. So the first thing I've got is this little brush drying rack. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, like I hate washing my brushes because they take up so much space. And I saw this guy and I thought this guy would be perfect. Um, and it was really cheap, it was only like five something. And I know Amazon has them, but this one is a little nicer. It was funny reading their reviews on this because a lot of people are like, oh, I thought it was a, I thought it was black or white. But it's got this e boring, ugly cardboard. It's a sticker. You have to tear it off. So you won't be able to see, but there's a cat right there. Can, there she is. That's Kala. Anyway, so I got that. And so I'm excited to use it. I bought some bath bombs. So this is the strawberry scented bath bomb and look at the size of this thing this thing is humongous um it's really pretty it's got like red and purple on it also this was a burn i the pan bit me anyway but yeah this is really good size and i was quite surprised by it i definitely don't smell strawberry but and I like that it comes in this plastic. Oh yeah, it's definitely strawberry scented. So that's kind of cute. Then I got another bath bomb and I thought it was so cute that they put this, put them in this little box. Um, I got the lavender one. This smells really good and it's a really bright purple. It's like a darker purple than what it's showing up on camera. Also, that's the cat you guys just saw. That's not a child. And then I got, I repurchased another cloud, rainbow cloud, but I did open it and it's completely cracked right here. I don't know if you guys are gonna, or you guys can see the crack right there. Unfortunately, it is all the way through, but oh well, I'll still use it. I guess this is kind of beauty related. I got one of these headbands and I love it. It is a really good um, headband. It was two dollars, and it's super cute. It's blue, so yeah. Um, the bath bombs were five dollars, three dollars, and I don't remember. But they're not that expensive, and this one is really pretty. It does have the rainbow effect, and then it also makes your water blue for some reason don't know how that works out but you know because usually when you mix all the colors it turns black but I'm not a scientist or anything so you know all right so we're gonna dive into this bag I, I'm gonna be doing swatches so yeah anyway so first up we'll do the palettes so this is the glitz Wiz blessed palette I think no ecstasy palette when I saw this I thought this was going to be a dupe for a Huda Beauty palette here you go here we can see the shades I don't know why that's showing up gray it's actually a I guess it is it's a gray purple with blue shifts to it. I wanna. So you've got matte, shimmers, and one pressed glitter, which is that one. The names are on the little sheet, which I thought was really interesting, but there's no mirror, which is kind of a downside. But anyway, let's swatch a couple of these. We'll do this bottom. So there they are. I swatched Princess Diaries, Hypnosis, and Hawthorne. 
I'll swatch on. Princess Diaries is a very soft pink. What was that shade? Hypnosis is a very pretty berry wine shade. And Hawthorne is really pretty. They are very light shades, but they are really pigmented and really glittery. So I'm really excited to try that. All right, let's see what's next. I had the bag on the floor, so if I'm bending over, that's why. Okay, you guys, I saw this concealer the last time around, and I don't remember why I didn't pick it up. I picked up another She Glam concealer, but when you guys see how big this concealer is, y'all are gonna flip. I mean, look at this bad boy. Here's like an e.l.f. concealer compared to it. Like, it's humongous. This is in the shade Tahiti. The only thing I don't like that She Glam does is they don't put the names on the packaging. So I think they kind of missed out on that. But other than that, these products are really good. Um, I haven't tried the concealer. And I'm not going to swatch a concealer because you all know. Actually, I probably should. Because I swatched the eyeshadow, so why not swatch this? So, unfortunately, I do have to keep them in their boxes. But other than that. So, there's Tahiti. It's pulling more peach. Let me see if I turn off the light. Can you see it better? No. There you go, you can see it. I'm sorry, I'm not very good at lighting, whatnot, so don't come after me because my videos are bad. I'm still like trying to figure this out. Okay. We'll do the lip liner in crimson. Actually, I'm gonna put this right here so I can just grab them. I love their lip liners, to be honest with you guys. I own two already and I love them. So this is in the shade Crimson. And there you go. It's definitely more of a pinky red than a blue toned red, but it is still really beautiful. And I haven't worn, I think I've worn these alone. They're really creamy on the lips, so that's a huge plus. All right, and then we got a brush to go along with the foundation I bought. Look at this shape, you guys. It is so interesting. It is a duo fiber brush, which I thought was really cool. And I did like the slantedness of it. But this is a peach handle with a gold ferrule, and I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I really do like a lot of, I bought another brush set from She Glam, and it, Arshian and it did fall apart so hopefully this one will last then I got another lipstick I love these lipsticks so what's really cool about this product is this silver button on top you push it and the lipstick pops out so this is in the shade cherry red and it's a little deeper than crimson but it's super pretty. Like next to it, it looks like it pulls more like berry red, and that's more of a true red. So there's that. I got a blush in the sh the lightweight blush in high and high and dry, which I think is a really funny name, and it's a soft peachy pink. There's a swatch. No, it's a soft, like, like I said, peachy pink. So there it is. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm really trying to figure out this whole lighting situation. There, you can see it. 
so don't come after me. I'm not going to swatch this liquid liner, but this is the Hold Live for Eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner. The shape is amazing. Like, that tip is so precise. Like, I cannot wait to use this. And there is a little ball in there. I can hear it. I have Momojo. I never know how to say that. Momojo. And I will let you know, none of this makeup is expired. And how I can tell is on every box, it says it has a manufacturer date and an expiration date, which I think is awesome that they do that. Like, they need to start doing that on more stuff. There's Momojo. It's a really soft, natural shade. Super pretty. It's like a dusty, it's a pinky nude shade, which is perfect. This is Fiji. I'm not going to swatch this just because it's pretty true to color. Um, I have another lipstick in Ruby Red, which is more of a berry toned. There you go. Hi, Kala. Okay, it is eating. So if you hear any weird noises, that's just her eating. I got a new mascara. This is the volumizing mascara, I believe. And it looks a lot like the Lancome new mascara. So I'm really excited to try that. I have Neutral, which is just a brown nude shade. And there's neutral. Come on. I got another blush in Let's Escape. It's a little bit darker. It looks brighter, but it's not that bright. And it's right there. It's definitely a hot. It's a beautiful deeper blush but it's pretty then I got another highlighter in call me it's a really pretty gold there it is you guys can't even see it it's right there though Yeah, you can't even see it. I'm so pale. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not very good at swatching. So don't come after me. All right, True Faith. I'm going to start swatching on my other hand. Actually, no. I have room on this hand still. True Faith is like a muted coral. There, there. You can kind of see the highlighter super pretty I love it yes I did buy every single color they made because they are amazing this is the she glam waterproof liner this wand is huge like look at that wand such an interesting concept and then I got a she glam brow crayon waterproof brow pencil and it's got the tip like Anastasia tip and don't come after me, that's how you say it. And it's in the shade gray black. Um, it's also really, really windy here, you guys. Like, I cannot believe how crazy it is. I'm not gonna swatch this, cause I swatched this yesterday and it, I mean, it faded, but it took like all day for it to fade. So this is the She Glam Pucker Up Lip Cream in Duop. It's a really pretty deep berry red shade. Oh, it looks so pretty in the swatch. Then this is the foundation I was talking about. So this is the She Glam Complexion Pro a Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. I got it in the shade Shell and it is such a pretty 
foundation. I'm not going to swatch that just because... It's a mess to swatch and you can't even see the concealer on me, so I'm not gonna bother. But yes, I am keeping it in the little package that it came in. And yes, it did come in this little felt sleeve. This is Solo Dance, which is such a beautiful shade. Oh my God. I love Solo Dance. Solo Dance is a very pretty muted, like vampy, vampy berry shade. Oh, so pretty. I'm bad at describing colors, so I'm sorry. It's a deep berry. Then we've got Cosmopolitan. Like I said, guys, I loved every single one of these. So that's why I bought every single one. And then I realized I forgot one. This is Cosmopolitan. It's a little deeper than this lipstick shade. It's more of a reddish brown than a red, but that's okay. Then we've got a liquid. This is the She Glam Clear and Bright Liquid Blush. right there. There's the blush shade. It's super pretty. It's in the shade called Orgasm, which if you guys are a big fan in the beauty world, you know NARS has a product named Orgasm. So yeah. Then I got a, another Glitz Wiz palette in the shade... Brick Lane, and it looks like this. These shades are super pretty. Um, I'm in love. Let's, I'll do a couple, I'll do a swatch or two, I'll do two swatches. I'll do, whoa, that was buttery. Okay, so I did E-Girl, Good Memories, and Cream, you guys. Good Memories felt like a cream. Like, it was so soft. Oh. So those are the three shades right there. E-Girl, Good Memories, and Cream. I am so bad at swatching you guys. I am so sorry. We've only got two products left. This is City Nights. It's a berry shade. If I remember correctly. Oops. Yeah. It's a very berry shade. Oh my god. There's a little sharpener down here. I've never knew. I never knew that. And I owned. I've had these for almost a year now. Not these, but the other two for a year. I had no idea. There's a. Oh, here we go. And then I have a lipstick in rose. I'll just swatch rose down there. And there is rose. So these are all the makeup items I got. If you want me to do a tutorial using them, let me know down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.